I realized when putting away all of my Christmas decorations that I needed to do some major organization. So I started with my pantry. I can't wait to show you how it turns out. So follow along. So if you figured anything out about me, you might have noticed that I like to add some kind of vintage touches wherever I can. So if you saw my corporate gift video, you would have seen that I used these IKEA crates as um, the basket for those gifts. And I thought maybe that would be a good option to store chips and that sort of thing in the pantry, but they're a little bit big and I didn't want them on every shelf. I was shopping at Kroger one day and came across this aisle that had these bins that had been marked down. And I thought that they resembled so much that hearth and hand collection that were black with the little brass um, nameplates that I thought, okay, this is a really good price because it's like 50% off of what Target charges. And so I grabbed as many as I could find. I had these little pins clothes pins with the chalkboard on it. I thought that would be perfect to put labels on all of these bins. That would give me some kind of organization. One of the best decisions I made was cashing in some airline miles for gift cards to the container store. I found this Alpha over the door storage organizer and I was able to eliminate all of the spices off of my shelves and a few jars too. And I love it. If you have a pantry like mine, you might have this top shelf with tons of over, overhead space that you're not using. So while I was at the container store, I found these stackable shelves that I purchased to extend my top shelf and then one for the bottom. I decided to store all of my appliances on the floor and put those items that I don't use every day on the top. I think I may get two more stackable shelves just to get rid of those plastic bins, but I ran out of room on my gift card, so that'll be a later project. Now to the floor. Now that I've got these appliances on the floor, I don't really wanna see them all the time, so I thought it might be nice to add a little curtain. I was looking for different fabric options and I knew I had this one, but it was a little pricey. It was more around, I think it was like $12.99 a yard. And I didn't want to spend that much. And so I started looking at French ticking stripe, but that was even more expensive. I then came across this blue fabric. Um, it is like a Mexican poncho type fabric. I found it on Etsy for $4.99 a yard and loved the color and thought it would be perfect. So as you can see, this comes, um, I didn't even measure it, but it, that's as wide as it gets. I mean, there, it's not, um, this is not folded. This is just how it's, it is, but that's okay. I mean, I could, if I wanted to, I guess I could hang it that way, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to hang it with the stripes down that way. When, when I put it in there, I will have little openings to um, reach those items and not have to you know pull everything up I can just kind of move it over my plan to hang it in here so my plan to hang it in here is to put velcro and staple it here 
and then put Velcro on there and use those to create little ruffles and it will cover all, or, all around. So I'm going to um, sew hems. I'm going to cut them and then sew hems on the bottom and the top and then um, sew on the Velcro and attach it and I'll let you see. So my fabric is 22 inches across um, and I cut it so that it, okay, first of all, what I did was I folded it over at the top and just to create a sewing line, I think it's probably half an inch that I folded it under. And I'm gonna sew along here just to close off that seam. I could double fold it, but it's too thick and I'm afraid that my, um, when I sew the Velcro on, it's just gonna be too much. I don't need to sew the ends, they're all, um, finished edges so that's good but I cut it from the folded end to the end of the fabric at 25 inches so my plan since I measured the where the shelf starts is 24 inches I'm going to fold it under for my seam here about an inch I'm gonna iron it down I probably could just do it once and I'll end up putting something to keep this from fraying and it should be fine but I don't have anything to keep it from fraying yet I'll have to get that later so I'm going to iron it down so that my it's exactly one inch up and then I will sew my seams So, okay, so it's looking pretty good. When I put it on, um, I ended up, okay, so my Velcro is iron on. That's just all I had. So um, I ironed it on to the fabric and it adhered, but when I was pulling it off of the um, the top of the shelf, it, came, it started coming off. So I just kind of put a little thread through it just to keep it on there. And I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm gonna try and um, zoom in on the fabric itself let's see here I put little pleats so I wanted some kind of little ruffle I didn't want to just have it straight down um let me see if I can get in there and show you I attached it here but I put little pleats in it and I kind of measured where I wanted it pinched it pinned it and then just kind of sewed down. So they're sewn in pleats, almost like you would with uh, like curtains that you might have seen. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna uh, work on the next ones and then I'll show it to you. Um, done. So as you can Talked see, it adds the blue that I love, covers up the appliances that I love and adds that little bit of country mercantile kind of look that I love. Next, I just added labels to my containers and um, it it's perfect. I love this pantry and it's so organized. Now I know it, exactly what I have and I'm not buying tons of the same seasoning and have three on the shelf. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I had so much fun organizing and I just think it looks great. If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified the next time I have a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.